What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today we are back with the biggest, the most intense, the most anticipated rematch of all time. A little while ago I posted a video of BJ Penn vs Carlos Condor in this game and I believe I was robbed in a five round fight by the judges. Funnily enough they also fought in real life to a draw but we are here for I suppose if you want to call it the trilogy you can, the rematch, whatever. We're going to run it back in the UFC's welterweight division. Five rounds. Obviously advanced. Obviously simulation stats. I'm going to go with red corner. I am going to be using BJ Penn again in this welterweight division. And going up against the natural born killer Carlos Condit. If you haven't watched the first video, go and check it out. I was absolutely mortified when those scorecards were read. Hard for a decision. The judges score it 48, 47, 49, 46, and 48, 47, declaring La Gagnon and the winner by unanimous decision. And now, the new UFC Walter White Champion of the World. The natural born killer But it is time to run it back in the rematch. And lately I've been having a lot of fun with this kind of content. I've not just been spamming hooks and ground and pound. I've been fighting. I've been using the ground control, control time, clinch control, cage control time. Using lots of different strikes, mixing up my attacks. And it has been so much fun to do that. It's better than just winging in hooks. That's fun. But this kind of content is the, the, the probably the most fun I've been having in a long time in terms of content being made. You guys seem to be enjoying it. So yeah, we're, we're going to run it back. We're going to go to Madison Square Garden. Let's get into it. Alright, now of course while I am BJ Penn uh, and Carlos Condor, I honestly believe robbed me in the first fight. Um, of course, it doesn't mean I'm going to want to go the distance this fight because I was robbed last time. So why would I want to do it again? However, uh, I'm going to try and work my, my body kicks a good amount. I'm going to try and work the clinch as well. See if I can get him in a quick takedown to start the start the fight here. There we go. Uh, while obviously I am BJ Penn, I am going to try and get the victory here by using my, you know, it doesn't mean I'm going to go the distance. It just so happens that lately with the style of fighting I've been having, I've been going the distance. And I'm happy to hold ground control, hold, hold you know, cage control. Just use my jab, use my leg kicks. And that's what I'm wanting to do. So for a little while, I'm just going to try and, you know, hold Carlos down. Use, use like, you know, uh, what's it called? Cage control. Use ground control. See if I can get this. No, Carlos has denied that. And then whoever wins this, I'm going to then use to fight GSP in another five round video. My hand seems to be stuck. Ah, oh, this is not the position I want to be in. Let's see if I can... Get up against the cage. He has stuffed that. Okay. Not really where I want to be. So, yeah. that's the, I've really been enjoying making this kind of content. You know. At the end of the day. And this fight is a super exciting fight for me. Because BJ has like got that overall. But he's got an 8 inch reach disadvantage against Carlos Condit here. Carlos Condit has got hella good stamina in this game. And he can strike like no man's business. Like that. We saw that coming. Now I've got to watch out for those knockdowns, you know. Because last time he last time he got me with some good knockdowns. Which I I think probably edged him the fight. But obviously I've got to watch out because that reach advantage. So when I'm trying to throw my jabs and straights, he can probably land a hook from my jab range. Right, before the end of this round, we're going to try and sink in a... Can we, ah, I tried to sink in a takedown, but to no avail. That's fine. That, that, that happens. Of course, make sure you guys are judging along with me as well. 
Uh, often, th that's what I enjoyed the most is reading your guys' comments. And yeah, make sure you guys are judging along with me. You know, this is this is a pretty big rematch for me. I really believe that I won that first fight. And, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, come round four or five, I'll be able to sink in a submission and, uh, you know, reclaim that title. Because uh, this is apparently is the interim belt. That's Even though this is exhibition, they, they still call it the interim title because GSP is that welterweight champ. That was a nasty Superman punch. Yeah, that was pretty vicious. Oh, yeah. Cat, you see, he's catching me with good combinations. Do you, do you give him that round? Do you not? You know what I mean? There we go. Body kick. Lovely. Lovely. As always, guys, posturing up is great, but it only works so much. You you can't just you can't just posture up willy nilly and see what I mean. I'm going to drain myself there. See, he's going to be on this difficulty with simulation. You really got to watch that stamina. So that's why I'm going to attack bit by bit. Those elbows are going to come down. I'm not going to posture up the whole time. I don't need to. Body shot, body shot. Elbow. He blocked it, that's fine. Elbow again. Cut him, hopefully. Caused some serious damage to him. Let's land a few shots there. Elbow, lovely. Body shot, body shot. Just going to throw volume there. But he's landing shit here as well, you know. Fuck, that is not what you want. Let's get him into a hopefully like a butterfly guard of sorts and get him up. I did try to go for a sub there, but to... fair. I can't can't dispute that. If he's going to spear me like fucking edge, then I have to suck it up and accept that. Let's lock in that submission. Oh, fuck. I forgot I'm the red one. Fuck. That was dumb. I probably could have fucking beat him there. Can we reverse it? We're up. We're up. We're up. Good takedown. Let's go. To end the round as well. This is our round. Lovely. You could argue at worst it's 1-1 one, one right now. There is a guy who comments on all these videos on my channel. Uh, called Matthew I believe. And he comments on all of them. And he always judges them with me. It's really fun to read his comments. So make sure you know if you guys are new to this. And you want to watch my other videos. Even if they're older. Go comment on them. Go judge them for yourself. It's always so much fun for me to read them comments. And that's why here I'm trying to be a little bit more aggressive on the ground. Because whenever Matthew watches the videos. He says I should go for more submissions on the ground. Now I don't want to go for them all. Because sometimes a submission game can be pretty OP in this game. So sometimes I will lock in, I will put in a submission and let the mega out of it. Uh, just to get that on the scorecards. Because it's better than just having a bit of a boring fight where you just lock in constant subs. So. Oh, you thought. He's got such a massive reach advantage on me, it's disgusting. Fair. Let's go. Into side control. Lovely. Now you don't want to try and posture up too much because... Oh. Oh shit.
Let's go. Oh. Side control ground and pound is good, but it's not as useful as you'd want it to be. I'll just land these knees on him, man. These knees are going to be nasty. Elbow to the body. Look at that. Knee to the body. Hold him here. Elbow, 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 elbow. This is a very different fight to the first fight, guys. This is a very different fight. He's locking in another submission. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I was saved by the bell. Oh, I think I would have got out of it just in the nick of time. All right, they want him to push the pace. I've got a fin. I'm going to stun him. I'm going to stun him bad with a body kick. I, th I think that's what I'm going to do this round. I'm going to throw a lot of jabs, a lot of leg kicks, a lot of body kicks. I'm not going to go to the ground too much here. I want to. I want to try and get him... Maybe even get him against the cage, work a few body shots in, sink in a submission. I don't want to get a TKO where he's going to argue it and, you know, the first fight was closed. This fight is now closed. I don't need a TKO that's going to be ruled, you know, indecisive by the community, the UFC community or by, you know, by Carlos arguing about it. Because that actually happens in this game where they actually argue about it. Boom! I'm just so out of range. I've got to be so f I've got to be so far in his range. It's disgusting. That's it, Carlos. Tie yourself out with all them head kicks. There we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm out of... Oh, I, I felt my short-term stamina go then. As I threw that kick, that felt really slow. He's getting tired. It's not looking like the first fight anymore, boys. It is not looking like the first fight anymore. This is looking like me bullying him. Can I sink in a takedown? Can I can I bully a takedown? Can I bully a takedown, do you think? I'll get up. I'll get up. I don't need to do much. Oh, that one hurt him. Come on, give me this takedown. Let's go. All right. End it with the fifth round. Honestly, this fight is looking different from the first. He hasn't dropped me. He got really close with that end of that third round submission. Really fucking close. Your opponent can't take much more damage to the head. Man, if I knock him out, if I TKO him, if I submit him, whatever. I don't really want to TKO him, to be honest. I'd rather submit him. 
But he's not going to be able to handle much more. Uh, part of me always wants to go. Like, when we get to the fifth round, I w if, if, if I get to the last minute of the fifth, then I'll just take him down and just kind of bully him like, on the ground a little bit. Because I like to see the judges' scorecards because you don't get them if you don't go the distance in this game. That's what the new UFC game has done better. You get to see the news. You get to see the scorecards regardless, which I just love. Miss me. Different fight from the first one, eh, Condit? Eh? Eh, different fight from the first one, eh? Shoulder. Okay. Let's go. Hold him here. Deny that. Kick him in the leg there. He is suffering here, boys. He is suffering. Alright, last 30. Last 30. That's fine by me. Alright. I'm pretty confident that the first fight was really close. Like 48-47 across the board. Except for one judge that gave 49-46. I'm... Don't believe these screens, guys. Last time we had this and Condit won. This time, 50-44 to BJ Penn is what I'm calling it. What is your guys' decision? Let me know what you think it is in the comments down below. Feel free to judge it round by round, honestly. But let's see what the judges give up. I am confident I won every round without fail. Let's listen, though. Remember, the winner fights GSB. The judges score cards for a decision. The judges score it 49, 46, 49, 46, and 49, 46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And now, the new UFC welterweight champion of the world. Right. Feels good. Feels good. 49 46 across the board. Don't know what round they really would have given to him. But I will take it. I will take it. The state of him. His body was fucked. His head was fucked. 120 kicks landed. 157 punches landed. Four takedowns. 20 dominant positions. Rocked once. Knocked down twice. Submission attempt. 39 transitions performed. Absolute beatdown. Unanimous. I know the first fight was unanimous, so I suppose we could run the trilogy back. If you guys want to see the trilogy, let me know in the comments down below. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll run it with... Um, 
I'm going to do BJ Penn. I'm going to be BJ against GSP next in the welterweight division for the title. Created like my own little arc by accident, really, uh, by having such an epic first fight. But absolutely bullied in this fight. And that's just the way this game goes when you play on these difficulties, man. You you literally can do what you want. Uh, I think what's crazy as well is I literally just played uh, Hoist Gracie versus Carlos Newton in Pride. Same settings and everything. Carlos Newton reversed, like most of my transitions i know he's a wrestler but he reversed like probably 60 percent of them carlos condit could do nothing there on the ground that was my world i was beating the shit out of him on the, on the feet beating the shit out of him bullying him as much as i felt fit great fight all in all good to get the victory i felt i deserved the first one but the second one i knew i had to take and i think if i run it back with him that that will be that will be where i will push the pace even more and probably spend three rounds on the ground beating the fuck out of him, cutting him up. Then come the third or the fourth round, I will tap him out. Maybe even the fifth I'll tap him out or KO him on the ground. Um, that's if we run the trilogy back. Let me know if you guys want to see something like that. Uh, but yeah, next fight you guys will see on Undisputed 3 uh, will most likely be BJ Penn versus uh, GSP in like the biggest title fight ever. Uh, but yeah, I look forward to it. I hope you guys have enjoyed though. Drop a like, subscribe down below. Let me know how you scored it in the comments down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.